welcome back. So there's still a lot of sunshine out there and high temperatures today. We're into the mid 90s. So we're well above where we should be this time of year. We have since fallen to 93 degrees in North Platte. Wind is calm. Most of us have a southerly wind that is pretty light, continuing to pump in the heat. And as for the dew point is at 49, so not a lot of humidity in the atmosphere. So here's a look at the temperatures across the region. So we're still at 93 at Thedford and Ogallala, 91 at Imperial and Valentine, and 92 at Hyannis and Broken Bow with Lexington at 88 degrees. There's your wind, most places 5 to 10 miles per hour. So light wind out there, but it is from that southerly direction. So here's a look at the uh, satellite loop across the country. The rain across the country still missing us off to the east and off to the south. Showers and thunderstorms in the northeast and off into the deep south. High pressure in charge of our forecast. It's off to our east, so we're getting that southerly wind. Another disturbance is right behind that. That could give us some moisture for tomorrow. Then another high pressure system will keep the hot, sunny, and dry weather in the forecast as we finish out the work week and go through the weekend. So taking a look at the skycast into tonight, temperatures falling back into the low to mid 70s with that strong southerly wind. But we do still remain on the clear side. The models say we're going to stay clear during the overnight. Low temperatures in the lower 60s. And then for the day tomorrow, clouding up a little in the morning. And we do have chances for some showers and thunderstorms. A line of storms may form in the late morning and make their way through uh, going into the afternoon and even into the early evening hours. This is our best chance of having some moisture. Also a marginal severe weather risk. So one or two of these storms actually could contain some gusty winds before they work their way out of here by the early evening. And uh, high temperatures tomorrow should still make it to near 90 degrees, even uh, even with the rain cooled air. Then to start off your Thursday, back to clear skies. Temperatures starting off into the upper 50s and high temperatures getting into the lower 90s once again. Still a lot of sunshine. So here's a look at what to expect as we go through the week. This high pressure system is working its way off to the east. We got the warm air now until this trough makes its way through. That's what's causing the thunderstorms. But right behind that, uh, that's going to be our only chance of moisture because we have another high pressure system uh, from here all the way to the west coast. You can see clear skies and as it moves its way off to the east, we do have that wind mainly from a southerly direction. So uh, we will continue to keep our uh, very hot weather as we go through the weekend and beyond. Here's a look at the weather outlook for midweek. The pleasant conditions into the Midwest and approaching the Northeast, where they do have some showers out there. Still, they got that persistent rain into the Deep South and even into Texas. We're going to be on the northern fringe of that as we go through the day tomorrow. But the main weather story is that big ridge in the jet stream. Extreme heat from the Rocky Mountain states off the West Coast and all the way up to the Edmonton, Canada area, with temperatures well above average for this time of year. Here's the forecast for tonight. Clear skies and not as cold as last night. Lows in the lower 60s and then for the day tomorrow, partly cloudy skies, chance of some showers and thunderstorms. High temperatures will be near 90 degrees. And then as we go through the day on Thursday, all the rain is gone back to sunshine, still hot. Highs getting into the lower to mid 90s. We keep that southerly wind 10 to 15 miles per hour. 94 on Friday, mostly sunny skies and sunny skies over the weekend, low to mid 90s. And we say in the mid 90s, no moisture chances, lots of sunshine for Monday and Tuesday of next week. We'll be back up to this. With Life Alert, one touch of a button can get you help fast. I've fallen and I can't get up. Don't worry, help is on the way.